Texans take CJ Stroud. I'm like, okay, that's pretty good. And then all of a sudden we get news live that they trade up with the Cardinals for the third round pick. So it's not a quarterback needy team. It's not the Colts making sure that they get a quarterback and no one's going to take it out from under them. It's the Houston Texans trading up so they can get their number one pass rusher. Yeah, and there were reports that the owner was like, we need to get a quarterback. So let's yeah. draft a quarterback. But Tamiko Ryan's like, I really want Will Anderson on this team. So they decided, they're like, you know what? Why not get both? And that's what they did. And I said in our preview, I'm like, they need, they're going to go defense because that's their priority. And in a way, I was kind of right because D'Amico Ryans wanted Will Anderson. He said that that was his preference. And, you know, the ownership wanted a quarterback. So they get C.J. Stroud. If I had to pick of the two who I think is going to be a better player in the NFL, I would pick C.J. Stroud because, you know, he's a little bit bigger, a little bit stockier, similar accuracy, got a little bit more mobility. I feel more confident in him. Although I do think they need to get some weapons around him. But overall, I think that the Texans making that move. My only concern with this particular move up was that they got rid of their first round pick next year. But outside of that, home run for the Texans. Yeah, it's definitely a gamble when you're a team rebuilding like the Texans are this year. Because definitely you need wide receiver help. So you have to be the team that goes out and gets the next unhappy wide receiver or the next... Uh, wide receiver whose team really doesn't want to pay him. So if you're going to give up your first round pick next year, you already have your running back. Got to go out there, get your number one wide receiver. So you solidify that because I still think we have a lot of work to do. I think the Texans defense is going to be pretty competitive next year. And I do think that this is a team. Now they're talented enough. They played hard last year. They're going to play hard under D'Amico Ryans that if CJ Stroud can play decent enough, I've seen Robert Sala, former defensive coordinator, similar to D'Amico Ryans under Kyle Shanahan, win games with Zach Wilson, win games with Mike White. So if CJ Stroud can be pretty good and a nice prospect, I think they can win some games probably in the, I'm higher above that four to six range. And now you're looking at that six to nine win range with this Houston Texans team. And I think that's pretty fair. 